Hello, Sensational Storytime viewers. It's Library Lady again. I'm glad you're here to join us for another Sensational Storytime with Broward County Libraries. But first, we're going to do a song activity with shapes, all types of shapes. And my most favorite shapes is, let's make a circle. A circle is round. And then we're going to make a square. A square has four sides and four angles. And a triangle, a triangle goes out to the sides and down. So let's put them all together. I like to look for circles, circles all around. I like to look at squares. There's many things that are squares. And I like to look at triangles. Triangles have different angles. Oh, try that with me, that was good. And now we're going to read our book. Today we have a book called Sky Color, and it's by Reynolds. And sky color, and what kind of sky color are we looking at? This is blue. Usually the sky color is blue. Marisol, that's the name of the girl was an artist. She loved to draw and paint. She even had her own art gallery. It was on the fridge. Not all of her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody is an artist. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when the teacher, the teacher from the class said they wanted to paint a mural for the library, oh Marisol was so excited she couldn't wait to begin. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. Everyone talked and sketched as they started to draw. And then they marched to the library. I'm gonna paint a fish. I'm gonna paint one too. Well I'll paint the ocean. But Marisol shouted I want to paint the sky. She went and went through all of her boxes and couldn't find any blue. What am I going to do without to make the sky without any blue paint? So then the bell rang. It was time to put away their brushes and she climbed into the bus, but she kept wandering. All the way home, she stared out of the window. The sun became lower on the horizon. Later at home, Marisol watched the day turn into the night. That night, she settled into a dream. She is sleeping. Then she drifted through the sky, swirling with colors, colors that were mixed and there were too many making them to count. In the morning, Marisol waited for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue, so she smiled. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She, she grabbed a dish and began dealing with her colors, this one and that one, and putting them all together to make a new color. Marisol, then she began to paint on the wall. And the boy asked, well, what, what, what color is that? What are you using? And that, Marisol said, is sky color. Look at how pretty she came out. Many, many colors, her sky color. The end. Oh, I like that book. And now, we're going to do an activity with some sky. Not exactly what Marisol had, but usually without any rain, the sky looks like this. What would you see in the sky or flying around in the air? I think I will see some balloons. Did anybody have any balloons recently? Let's put some balloons in the sky. Here's one. Let's have another one.
here's another one. Two balloons in my sky. What else would you see? Maybe somebody's flying a kite, a kite in the sky. Kites are beautiful. They're attached with the string and they swirl in the wind as they go through the sky. Here's, here's, here's some kites flying away from the balloon. There's a kite. Let's put another kite. Let's put another kite over here. They're just starting to get into the sky with the kite. And also, maybe some butterflies. Some butterflies are flying. They are trying to find some flowers. Here's a butterfly flying through. Here's a butterfly in my sky. There's one. I think it has a cousin. I think it has a cousin. Here's another one. I've seen this before. It's called a monarch butterfly. Here's another one. Now, Ken, and here's the sun shining towards our sky. So let us do some counting. We have the sun up in the sky. We have many clouds, clouds, clouds in the back. And we have, how many balloons do we have? Can you see my balloons? Here's one. Here's another one. There's two balloons there. And then with the balloons, two people are flying kites. Where are the kites? Where are the kites, everybody? Oh, here's one. Here's a kite. And, and here's another one. And then all of a sudden, it said some birds, there's some butterflies. They are looking for some flowers. I see the butterflies. Do you know where the butterflies are? It, there's a butterfly. You think there might be one more butterfly? Here's another butterfly, all flying through the sky. So next time, look to see what's around and what's in your sky. Now I want to add a literacy tip for the caregivers, for everyone to learn more to read well. When you're reading with your little ones, point out the shapes and the colors that are around you. Look to see what's really in the sky and have them point. Look to see what's in their, in their bedroom or in their playroom to see if there's any balloons or kites or butterflies somewhere. Always try to pay attention to what is around you. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed our story time and keep clicking for more. I hope to see you soon.